All right, we're back with another PlayStation 4 modding video. Now, I don't really know how to start this video. I mean, I'm making this video because uh, my last TikTok I posted, you guys want to see like a tutorial or how this stuff works. It's just going to be me showing you guys how I jailbreak my PlayStation 4. And uh, just that's pretty much it, really. I mean, I posted a TikTok. It was jailbreaking a PS4 in 15 seconds and it kind of blew up and you guys asked for tutorials. You guys said it was fake. You guys were leaving a lot of uh, opinions of thinking how this stuff works, but it's not exactly how you make it seem. So I'm going to be going over a couple of things in this video. And uh, I don't know, I just feel like it's kind of interesting how this stuff works. I was watching a lot of videos like this as well before I got my jailbroken PlayStation 4. So this is just for the people that are into this stuff. It's pretty cool how it works. So why not show it? So yeah, the first thing I want to go over though is a lot of people left comments on that TikTok saying, uh, good luck playing online. You'll get banned if you go online. And matter of fact, this console can't get online even if I wanted it to get online. It's just not able to connect to PlayStation services. It's just not like that so it's not the way you guys think like i said so this console's never been updated so therefore i cannot have the mod menus and i can't use the jailbreak features if i logged into the playstation network because to be able to sign in on this kind of console i have to actually update the console and this console has never been updated which is why i'm able to jailbreak it if you guys look on youtube how to jailbreak a playstation 4 everybody who has jailbroken playstation 4s uh, it's a console that's never been updated so none of us could get online and uh, it's not really as rare as you guys think it seems i mean it's kind of cool to see but it's not really that rare trust me it's just a regular console anybody could buy it i'm not going to say where to buy it but uh, one thing I will say is don't trust Instagram sellers. Uh, I've bought all my jailbroken PlayStation 4s on a, a certain site, so I'm not going to say the site. It's just it comes down to doing your own research, so I'm not going to really give too much info on that. It's not illegal to do. It's literally just a cool thing to have uh, if you do have a jailbroken PlayStation 4. Uh, it's not just to mod games. It's not to cheat online. Like I said, you can't get online. So the reason why I have this console, I've just been always into jailbreaking. I have uh, every iPhone I had was jailbroken. All my iPads are jailbroken. So it's just something I enjoy doing. It's not illegal. It's just something cool to have. And uh, if you do go online, though, you will get banned. But like I was saying, these consoles can't get online. And if you were to get online with these consoles, uh, it's a matter of updating them. So you'll have to update this console, which means you'll lose all the modding features. So you won't get banned anyway if you do get online with these consoles. But the only thing with that is, is you won't be able to use the mods, obviously, because the console will be updated so you can play online. So which means you can't downgrade to come back to using the jailbreak features, if that makes any sense. This console just can't get online. People think I was able to play online with mine, and it's just not like that. I can't get online. If I do, it's going to cause me to have to update this console, and therefore, I'll lose the jailbreak. You cannot downgrade. So just to get that out of the way, but uh, yeah, it's just something cool to have. The reason why I got my jailbroken PlayStation 4 is to install emulators. You can play Super Nintendo games on this. It's so sick to do. It's pretty fun to have, and there's a lot of customization as well. But uh, yeah, just to get all of that out of the way, I can't get banned. I can't get online. It's not how you guys think it is, but let's go ahead and actually, uh, I'll show you guys what this is about and how to jailbreak a PlayStation 4. So the first thing you're going to need on to jailbreaking a PS4 is a PlayStation 4 that's never been updated. And like I said before, you cannot downgrade your PlayStation 4. So if you go into settings here, then you go all the way down to system. Click on system information and then I'll show your system software. Now, most of you guys, like 99% of you guys, uh, including myself on my PS4 that's not modded, it's going to be on 7.55. I think that's the recent PlayStation 4 update. But uh, since this PlayStation 4 is jailbroken and never been updated, it's on 5.05. Like I was saying before, this console has never been updated. So, so for me, my system software is 5.05. And for you guys, including myself on my uh, legitimate PlayStation 4, it's 7.55. And we cannot downgrade to be able to jailbreak the console. You just have to find the PlayStation 4 from somebody who's selling one that's never been updated. So there's that. Let's go ahead and back out of here now. So that's pretty much it. That's like the main thing on jailbreaking your PlayStation 4 is having the PlayStation 4 on that specific firmware 5.05 or lower. 
and then uh, pretty much from there all you have to do is uh, you, you go into your settings here this is exactly how you would jailbreak it now there's no USB needed or anything like that uh, the reason why I had a USB in my last TikTok on jailbreaking my PlayStation 4 was because I had to reinstall my firmware which is 5.05 .05 because I was stuck in a safe mode boot loop which was pretty annoying but thank god I fixed it so you really don't even need a USB either if you are on a 5.05 .05 PlayStation 4 because all you're going to need to do is go into your network go into your setup internet connection then go to use Wi-Fi and then click on custom and then it's going to ask for your Wi-Fi password and stuff so just go ahead and do that so from here on IP address settings click on automatic and then DHCP host name click do not specify and then DNS settings this is where you're going to want to put manual so from here you can copy these if you guys want now like I said if you guys are on 7.55 uh, and you type in this DNS for primary and secondary, it will not work for you because you're not on that 5.05 .05, uh, PlayStation 4 firmware. So if I were to do this on my legitimate console, it won't work either. But uh, typing the primary and secondary DNS settings in, uh, this is going to allow you to actually uh, get into the jailbroken internet web browser, which will allow you to mod games and stuff like that. But like I said, if you're on a higher than 5.05 .05 system software, it won't work for you. But you guys could try it if you want, but I'm giving you the warning now, it won't work. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. You just put these DNS settings in, click next, click automatic on MTU settings, proxy server do not use. And that's pretty much it you don't have to test your internet connection because we can't get online anyway so there's really no point so that's pretty much it i just jailbroke my playstation 4 for you guys right there so we'll go into the internet browser and there you guys go we have the modded exploit page where we can mod games and stuff like that it's pretty cool so uh yeah i mean that's how you jailbreak a playstation 4 this was a longer tutorial on my TikTok post, which was jailbreaking my PlayStation 4 in 15 seconds, but this was an actual full tutorial. So it's pretty cool how this stuff works. I'm going to just end this here. Uh, there's nothing else really to it. It's just something cool to have. Like I said, you can't get banned because you can't get online. So it's just as simple as that. It's not how you guys make it seem. So yeah, I mean, I do enjoy making these videos. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this as well. If you guys have any ideas of a type of video like this, I should make next. Feel free to leave down below. I'll definitely make more videos like this. And uh, I know some people are interested of how this stuff works. I was watching a whole lot of videos like this as well before I got my jailbroken PlayStation 4. But uh, since I've had my own for a while now i was always able to make these kind of videos which is cool to make i have fun making them so if you guys want to see more videos like this subscribe to the channel would appreciate that and if you guys have any ideas of things i should post the next uh something similar to this video feel free to leave down below i'll check it out and maybe do it but uh that's pretty much it if you guys did enjoy this video please drop a like i would appreciate it and uh yeah i'll see you guys in the next video peace out